Conservation North has called on the provincial government to limit further destruction of wildlife habitats in Prince George. So the rules around protecting biodiversity in the Prince George TSA, which is a huge area um, spanning 8 million hectares, um, was the result of a negotiated agreement around 20 years ago between logging companies and the BC government. The biodiversity order essentially protects logging company access to the amount of old forests that they want where they want it. And the group is looking for action from the province on recommendations made by the Forest Practice Board back in 2020. And these targets are known by ecologists and biologists to be um, to be really inadequate, uh, to be basically leading to ecological collapse in the PG TSA. So these targets are not appropriate for what we have here, in part because they were in negotiation with logging companies by the BC government. And the Forest Practices Board came and did an investigation in 2019. And then in 2020, uh, they released a report. And the results of their report are that they uh, recommend that the BC government map at-risk old growth and then promptly protect it using a mechanism like an old growth management area. CKPG News reached out to the Ministry of Forest to discuss the Conservation North's call, who responded with the following statement. Quote, since November, our government has prevented logging in nearly 1.7 million hectares of old growth, working in partnerships with First Nations, and that approximately 80% of the priority at-risk old growth identified by the Old Growth Technical Advisory Panel is not threatened by logging because it is already permanently protected, covered by deferrals, or uneconomic to harvest. Conservation North also says if the logging trends don't change soon, it will have an impact on some cultures in Prince George, people who hunt and fish, and an emotional impact for people who value natural resources. Jack Clark, CKPG News.